Figma and FigJam are both powerful tools from the same company, but they serve different purposes. Figma is primarily a design tool, perfect for crafting user interfaces, mobile apps, websites, and other digital products. It's where designers create wireframes, prototypes, and high-fidelity designs, ensuring that everything looks and functions as intended. If you're working on UI slash UX design, Figma is where you'll be spending most of your time. On the other hand, FigJam functions more like a collaborative online whiteboard. It's designed for brainstorming, planning, and organizing ideas with your team. Instead of focusing on pixel-perfect designs, FigJam is great for sketching out user flows, creating diagrams, mapping out ideas, and even running team workshops. It's an ideal space for collaboration, where team members can add sticky notes, draw connections, and visually plan projects without worrying about precise design details. While they have different purposes, Figma and FigJam work seamlessly together. You can easily switch between them depending on your workflow, using FigJam for initial brainstorming sessions and then moving into Figma when it's time to turn those ideas into real designs. Whether you're designing an interface or mapping out a strategy, these two tools help keep your creative process smooth and efficient. If you're new to Figma or just want to test the waters without spending any money, the free plan is a fantastic place to start. You can sign up instantly, no credit card required, and begin designing right away. This plan allows you to create up to three Figma files and three FigJam files, which is perfect for small projects, personal use, or simply learning the ropes. One of the biggest perks of the free plan is unlimited collaborators. Whether you're working with a small team, getting feedback from a mentor, or sharing your work with clients, there's no limit to how many people can view and edit your files. Collaboration is seamless, making it easy to work together in real time, no matter where your team is located. On top of that, Figma provides access to templates and plugins, so you don't have to start from scratch every time. There are pre-made UI kits, wireframe templates, and automation tools that speed up your workflow. While the free plan does have some limitations, like reduced version history and a cap on the number of active files, it's still an excellent option for students, freelancers, and anyone looking to explore Figma before upgrading to a paid plan. Moving up to the professional plan, it's for people who need a bit more flexibility. This plan is great if you're working with a small team or if you're doing a lot of design work on your own and need unlimited files. With a professional plan, you get the freedom to create as many files as you want. This is perfect if you're working on multiple projects at once and need space to store everything. Another big plus is that you can revisit past changes. This feature is super helpful when you're working on a design and want to look back at previous versions to see how things have evolved or undo something you're not happy with. You also get team libraries, which means you can share reusable design components across your projects, saving you time and keeping things consistent. And if you're into prototyping, this plan has more advanced tools. You can create customized flows with if-else statements and even set up multiple actions within your interactions. It's the plan you'd go for if you're diving deeper into the design process and need a bit more control. Next, there's the organization plan. This one's made for bigger teams or organizations that need more structure and control. If you're working in a larger group and need to organize everything, this is the plan you'll want. You can organize your files into private or shared spaces, which is huge for keeping things tidy and making sure everyone knows where everything is. This plan also gives you tools like libraries and analytics to ensure your designs stay consistent across the board. 
and if you want to experiment with design changes without messing with the main project, this plan lets you do that too. So if you need to make tweaks or explore new ideas without breaking things, the organization plan has you covered. And here's a big one. You get to build private plugins. If your team needs some custom tools or integrations, you can create your own plugins just for your organization to use. Security is also much more robust at this level. You get advanced security features, like custom roles, and even the ability to set up webhooks and private plugins. So if you're working with sensitive stuff or need to control who does what, this is the plan for you. The Enterprise Plan is the most advanced option Figma offers, designed specifically for large organizations and teams that need top-tier security, custom workflows, and enhanced administrative controls. If you're managing a highly structured design team, working on multiple large-scale projects, or need advanced security compliance, this is the plan for you. One of the biggest benefits of the Enterprise Plan is the ability to set up custom workspaces, ensuring that different departments or teams have access to the right files and tools. It also provides enhanced permissions, allowing admins to control who can view, edit, or share projects. This level of control is crucial for businesses handling sensitive or proprietary design work. Beyond security, the enterprise plan includes priority support, dedicated account managers, and deeper integration options for smoother workflows with other business tools. Plus, it offers unlimited version history, so teams never lose track of past iterations or important changes. That said, this plan comes at a premium price, making it best suited for larger companies rather than individual designers or small teams. If you're just starting out or don't need these enterprise-level features, the professional or organization plans should be more than enough to meet your needs. Now that we've gone through all the plans, which one should you pick? Well, if you're just starting out, the free plan is a solid choice. It gives you the basics and lets you get a feel for how Figma works without having to pay for anything. If you're doing a lot of work or need more flexibility, the professional plan is great for unlimited files and advanced features. For bigger teams that need more control and organization, the organization plan is the one you want. And if you're working in a large company or on really complex projects, the enterprise plan has everything you need, but it's pricey and probably overkill for most people. So if you're just doing small projects or exploring, the free plan will work fine. If you need more features or are working with a team, though with the professional or organization plan depending on the scale.